Hello beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Z from GoWizzy.com and in today's video we're going to be creating a coloring book with free AI tool. Please don't go away. Welcome back guys. So if you're new to Amazon KDP, uh, you should know that you first of all search for what you want to create or the niche you want to get into okay so um if you do not know how to i will create another video on how you can do your research on niches okay so in this video i just went to amazon and i searched for coloring book and i got about eighty thousand search volume okay you want to go for uh niches that have very low bsr all right so i found this one large print easy color uh, and frame and i wanted us to look inside and see what they are doing it's um, a world search uh world coloring book rather <laughs> okay you can see they have very simple designs but they've been selling since uh 2020 that this book was created so i also checked this zane coloring book for adults and i found out they do not have a look inside feature but they do have an a plus content okay um it helps your viewer to see exactly what they will be buying all right and i think if you see this kind of um uh, shop you would want to buy because it's beautiful they are very colorful designs and I also went to their uh, bestseller rank and they are number 215 in coloring book and this coloring book was made in 2021 okay guys so you can as well niche down all right and then I, I went ahead and I typed fairy coloring book I got 6,000 search volume you can keep doing this until you find the best niche for yourself okay so guys if you are uh, still here with me and um, you have not subscribed to the channel please do so it helps me grow on the space and then uh, smash the like button and the notification bell so you're notified whenever we post uh, new videos so I went into this magical fairy coloring book and uh, to see what they have what kind of pictures they have there you can see they are really beautiful you have to be creative to be able to sell to your audience all right sell things that are appealing uh, fairies with uh, flowers and all of that so uh, in today's video we're going to be using blue willow all right uh, it's a free AI tool um, to create this uh, coloring book okay and then blue willow is very tricky so uh, we're going to be asking ChatGPT to create the prompt as well guys okay, so um, I went to ChatGPT and I asked ChatGPT to just create uh, five ideas for magical, mystical, union, um, unicorn coloring book, okay, for the sake of this video, okay. So you have to be creative about it. And I also asked ChatGPT to give me a prompt for blue uh, willow AI image generator, okay. I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can uh, follow to get to blue willow. Blue willow is a, is a free uh, AI tool. They also have a paid version, but it's very mega, and then you can absolutely do anything you want to do for free you can see other people are creating this now uh, what I would say is blue willow it's is very okay when you're creating um, like your story books okay but for coloring books blue willow is not it at all because I kept prompting blue willow and it kept giving me complicated designs all right even I was using the prompt that ChatGPT gave to me or that ChatGPT generated it kept giving me very very complicated designs that cannot be colored you can see them yourself so if you want to use blue willow for your storybook it is very okay so simply just go to blue willow go to your rookie and then start prompting it okay the same prompts with blue willow so i decided to use me journey me journey is a paid ai tool okay you have a uh, 20 trials you can generate 20 images so you can actually jump on this and use it to generate 20 images for your coloring book if you're just starting out and you do not have um, funds to um, kind of subscribe okay so I went to mid journey when you are at mid journey just go to the newbie section if you're new to mid journey okay the prompts are the same with uh, blue willow AI tool is forward slash imagine and prompt then you start putting in your prompt so i took the prompt that ChatGPT generated for us earlier and i just prompt um the mid journey ai2 and it gave me very simple 
uh, diagram or images that you can actually color and in mid journey you get to get four images okay you can upscale in mid journey you can uh, change you can ask for other variations of particular images you can see it generated four for me i'm going to just highlight so you can see better you see the first one the second the third the fourth so whichever one you like here or you want to upscale or you want to uh, do a variation on it before you save okay you can see i upscale one i upscale four i upscale two and then i did variation for four and one so this is how you, you just keep prompting me journey okay and it will generate these images for you and you can get 23 images for restart okay guys so um i'm going to make researches on other free uh tools you can use for your uh, coloring book okay so uh when i found them i'm going to come back here to tell you so i just kept uh generating more images with the prompt charge gpt gave to me upscaling and doing a uh, variation so from here we're just we're going to go into our canva app to build a coloring book okay guys be creative about your coloring book you can see me johnny is giving me very fine designs all right so you can uh, just be creative about it and if you don't know how to prompt you can simply ask chat gpt or go through what other persons have been doing on the site play with it and you'll get used to it so i went to canva and then i'm going to be using 8.5 by 11 inches okay if you do not know how to calculate dimension in um, kdp or coloring books whatever book you want to sell on amazon kdp you can go watch my video on how to generate puzzle okay i made a video on that and i explained how you can generate how you can calculate your kdp back cover and your dimensions okay guys so i'll leave the link down below as well so i went straight to canva i'm building the um, back cover first okay i am i picked a background you can do you just be creative about what you're doing okay how you want your audience put yourself in your audience shoe and the kind of niche depending on the kind of niche. we're actually uh, moving towards the Easter season you can do books on uh, Easter bunnies and all of that for your uh, audience or for your clients right okay so this beautiful star background I got it from creative fabrica creative fabrica is another paid tool but if you do not want to use creative fabrica you can go to Pix Bay and download nice background as well. I'm a, um, Canva also have very nice background as well. So uh, we'll just go ahead and keep customizing. So I uploaded the pictures I got from Mid Journey into my Canva app, and I'm just uh, picking them in piece to just design my back cover. You can see it's very simple. I designed this thing in less than uh, uh, five. In less than three minutes okay so guys as you keep practicing you get familiarized you familiarize yourself with it okay so. okay guys if you're still here and you have not subscribed what are you waiting for come on subscribe all right hit the like bell hit the notification bell so you're notified whenever i make videos like this and you can also help us go on this channel okay so um I just kept putting in pictures because you want your uh, audience to see uh, like a glimpse of what they are going to be expecting okay before you do your A plus content all right uh, let me know in the description um, sorry in the comment section below if you want me to do video on how to gen how to create A plus content for your Amazon store uh, something key you should put in mind always lock down your background okay you just saw my move now right that's a mistake on my part I, I always want to lock down my background so you don't let your things move around so I got a ribbon and then I chose a color that I already have on my uh, unicorn okay so what I'll do next is just go to the uh, color pickup okay i want to see if i can make variation for this color maybe something different or darker than what i already have okay i tried this uh, brown and it didn't work so i just simply went back to the uh, green i was using and then i just made it a little darker so my uh, my words can show properly okay so uh voila we are done with our back cover 
Hello guys, for the interior part of our book, I simply went back to my home page of Canva and I typed in 8.5 by 11, okay? So um, the very first page of your interior book should be your uh, belong to me page, alright guys? I just simply uh, put one of the unicorns that I had previously downloaded, alright? And then I put in a text, I changed the font of my text and I also changed the... Um, I changed I changed my font and I also changed the sizing of my text okay so if you've been following me in my previous video you will know that I love uh, lobster okay I love that particular font because it's playful it's a kid kind of uh, font then I went to lines and I brought out some lines so they can have something to write on okay so I just duplicated that page the about me page because I still want to retain my unicorn and then I took away the uh, text okay because I want to make that page the after the about me page I want to make it like um, telling whoever buys the book uh, you want to prompt them to review your uh, to, to drop a review for you that way you would always come ranking whenever people search for you on Amazon all right people love to hear other persons review about products they have used and um, or rather books they have bought okay so prompt them to leave reviews for you okay guys i always do that in mind i leave a review I, I i tell them to leave a review i drop my email in case there are issues they can always reach out to me all right guys so i went ahead and i did that so i'll just create and then always this is key always leave one blank space in between your coloring books so that in case there is bleed that if someone is coloring because uh, you cannot really attest the quality of paper that Amazon is going to use to print this thing okay because you do not, you're not touching the physical copy okay even if I know that after you have created your uh, listing you can actually buy a copy of it or uh, yeah order a copy of it for yourself it's very important I do that as well uh, subsequently I'm going to do a review on uh, my books that I have been selling on Amazon okay so I always leave a blank space in between every uh, image that I put up so that if they color and it bleeds through it will not bleed over the other uh, image all right that way you get good reviews guys and then take time to do your planning take time to do your research take time to uh, put in effort when you're designing because a lot of people are also out there designing a lot of people know about these AI tools and they are also using them so guys if you're comfortable with what you have designed I simply went ahead and I downloaded in PDF format so I went back to my uh, back my back cover and I also downloaded it now usually what I do I create like two or three back covers so that I can choose what I like as you can see this is also a beautiful cover all right so I I can choose anyone I like <laughs> so I went ahead and I also downloaded this one so guys uh, if you're still here please do subscribe to this channel help us grow in the channel and do leave a comment okay I always respond leave a comment on what you want to see next okay and do not forget blue willow is also a very good AI tool for uh, storybooks you can use blue willow for your art the artworks you sell on um, Etsy okay you can also use blue willow okay until our next video uh, do remember that I love you keep growing Mwah.